boys on hanky so mu him na kwa coupon chini bi him masai di beneze nyang coupon se ma jail dra ubin him what's yana o share kasa TV hey cheese on the mic. I know you listen to other MCs as well when they bring out their songs. Which ones do you say that oh, this guy, didn't, this particular guy or this particular MC needs to go and come back again because he wasn't prepared? Oh, a lot of them, a lot of them. And Can you mention names? When I mention their names, it promotes them all the time. <laughs> uh, it makes them, it makes them feel big that mm -hmm. XDO is mentioning them. They know themselves. There are a lot of crap MCs out there. You know what I mean? But me, I won't be mentioning their names again. Management doesn't even want me to mention their names. Mm -hmm. Again, because the moment I mention their names, it helps them. Mm. It double up. But you and I know. They know themselves if yeah. they are watching this. They know. They can mention names. A lot of them. A lot of trash music out there. Ghanaians seem in the industry, the music industry, so the media seems to push that agenda. Mm. And, and it's killing, I mean, a lot of music. Mm. It, people do dancehall in Ghana, right? Mm. They do dancehall. What is the difference between Ghanaian dancehall and American dancehall? Or Jamaican dancehall. Jamaican dancehall is original. They do the dancehall with their language. They do the dancehall with their patois. With their, the, their instrumentals. But Ghanaians, what is our dancehall? Are we doing dancehall with our language? Are we doing dancehall with our English? Or you have to force and speak like somebody? You understand? Because now people do dancehall because you can. I can't even give you high life rhythm. If you bust patois on it, people will say it's dancehall. Is totally wrong. You, you understand? So does it mean we define dancer in Ghana with patwa? Mm. Patwa is not a gender. Patwa yeah. is a language. A language yeah. You know what I mean? Patwa is a language. Is that's Jamaicans? That's how they speak. Yeah. So they want to be original. So they use their language to do the dancer. And Jamaican, they call their rap as dancer. It's, it's rap that they do. It is not a reggae. Reggae is totally different from dancehall. You understand what I mean? It's just like we named our rap music Kasahare or Hip Life. You understand what I'm saying? It makes us original. It makes other countries want to know about Hip Life or Kasahare. And that's what we are doing. Sakodia, whoever, all of them are doing Kasahare. None of them is doing reggae. You understand what I'm saying? None of them is doing reggae. But the moment they speak Patois, then they define it as dancehall. You see, patwa is not a general. Let me tell the artists out there who think they you know. I, was, I wanted us to move in there with the dance hall bit. So, who would you say is really doing dance hall at the moment? None of them. Not even Stone Boy. Uh, Stone Chakali. Boy. No, none of them. They are because they are speaking patwa. So they are imitating Jamaican dance hall. Okay. So now I'm, I'm 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 a little bit tight here because. So yeah. Wally claims he's a dancehall king. Stoneboy claims he's a dancehall this, Afrobeat that, and that. And you are saying that none of them is doing dance dancehall. <laughs> no, no, come on, man. What? Because they play Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. They play Afrobeat, and then they put patois on it. Does it make it a dancehall? No, because they are just defining it with the language. Mm. They are not original. Mm. If you like type dancehall artists in you know, on Google, mm. you will see more Jamaican artists. They won't even pop up. So that means that a Ghanaian should just try as much as possible to... To be original. You see, dance already them has a general. Boom, boom, kick, boom, boom, kick, boom, 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 kick, boom, boom. You're supposed to come on with a tree rap or even English. English is universal. Yeah. So come on with a tree toasting. Mm. So when the Jamaicans hear you, they'll be like, this is original African dance hall. Mm. Don't come and fake talking like you are uh, uh, Bujubantan... What me I say? Yo, me say, me say, me say, me have to say, me have to say, and all that bullshit. Let me give you two songs. Um, a song by uh, Samini, which is a uh, love rock, which he featured Sarko dear. And I, I, I guess you've listened to it. Yeah. Let um, Shatawali also brought um, uh, what's the title? Uh, Gringo. These two songs. Which one would you classify as a dancehall song? None of them are dancehall songs to me. Not, not even the lover. You see, the, the, I can say Samini and Sarkodies makes a bit different. It's a bit different. Mm. It's a bit yeah. You can clap it because the rhythm they played mm. was original reggae rhythm. It's not even a dancehall. Mm. Just original reggae. It's a reggae rhythm, mm. and Sarkodie came original on it mm. by rapping with Chi. With Chi. 
and Samini bust English on it. Mm. Samini's verse was not really a patwa. Okay. He bust English on it, mm. but changed the the tonation and changed the the flow mm. to suit the beat. Okay. But Sakwa they rapped on it, mm. so it makes it original. Okay. You see, Gringo yeah. is okay. We can say the rhythm is a dancehall rhythm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there, there, there's some faking on it. Mm. Yeah, the faking on it was the patois. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You, you understand what I'm saying? If I say this, people might think I'm just... But I'm telling you the truth. Unless you don't know. Mm. You see, you cannot continue to define dancehall music in Ghana with the patois language. I can play you high life rhythm. I can play you reggae rhythm. I can play you hip hop rhythm. The moment the person brings up patwa language, we say it's dance all. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it's a bit shaky. Okay. We, we cannot continue like that. You know what I mean? We should stop focusing on patwa with dance all. You know, dance all is a genre on its own. Jamaicans are originally with that. That's their style. So if they speak patois on it, have you seen Jamaican man singing on a dancehall beat with tree before? No. Have you seen them trying to speak, speak like us English. before? No. No. Or fluent English before? No, that's their slang. That's their, that's their local language. At least use the pidgin. Mm. Use the pidgin at least. The Ghanaian pidgin. Pidgin okay. at least to do the dancehall if you, can, you want to go different. You understand? Then they can learn that where Tell Africa Ghanaians are doing serious patwa uh, um, dancehall. This African dancehall. But if you go and do the same patwa, which you can't sound like them, they they, they seem to see it in a funny way. They, they, they just see us like, ah, what this guy is doing? Are they trying to copy us? Are they trying to act like us? Yeah. So me to me, I don't think they are doing the right thing. Exo, let's 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 we'll wrap up soon, but let's go back to your personal life. If I would want to, or if 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 you are taken back to the days of Exo, the days Exo was 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 built on almost every show. What would what would be the thing you would want to correct for you and the music industry? Yeah, what I would like to correct correct back then is you know you see we we started earlier on, mm. so we've made all the mistakes we're supposed to make. So I don't expect this young cast to be even making mistakes because mm. they have to learn from us. Yeah. We, we, we started this thing without even thinking about money mm. because then what we thought was we we're supposed to get the general recognized and accepted. accepted. Yeah. So some of this we took, you know, things for granted, mm. which now I wouldn't take that for granted again. Mm. If I would have changed anything, by taking things for granted. You know, we tried to go to some places. You know, there, as you know, there was no digital Platform. platforms. Like now you've been interviewing me and it will go viral to everywhere. No, it's not like that back then. You have to move. If you do a song, you have to promote it at every city. I have to go to north, mm. south, mm. east, west mm. to promote my songs. But now I can stay at home, use my computer. Mm. Bam, everybody will have it everywhere they are. You understand? Yeah. So we, we toil and ha we, we, we actually suffered, you know, from our beginning. But we didn't see like suffering. We were seeing like we were preparing the new generation. The new generation. We are preparing the future. Yeah. We are preparing for something. So we need to strike and not think about money. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So some of them, most of my colleagues, I can say we didn't actually think of money. You know what I mean? Even though there was little money coming up, but all we think about was the act act is what we were thinking about and that is why we it's been survived from olden days up to now over almost 30 years still there. we are still getting a generation type of song people or uh, um artists that came in the 90s um that have a uh, have reserved their music for now and they're doing touring like you are doing once a while you hear them say on TV or on radio that oh the new group of artists they don't respect the new group of artists I've tried reaching out to some of them to feature them on on their songs and on my song and this and this and this and this. Have you had such an encounter? Uh, yeah, in some way, yeah. But I don't blame them, you know what I mean? Because um, they are in their heydays. You understand what I'm saying? And why would you like to feature him? Unless maybe you have some things up on your head. 
one maybe the guy has a new he's getting getting all the fans now so you want to tap in his fans mm. or second oh tell it, this guy there is gas kills so let me put him on my on my cell let me roll my so but most of our colleagues try to feature these guys because of their their fame, their fame or their their numbers. their numbers mm. you see um to me it, it doesn't sound right because um you don't need to feature somebody because of numbers mm. If you do that, definitely the person will win. Anything you do with the person, his numbers will go in for him. And you might not get that shine you need to get. But people say, oh, feature this guy. Feature this guy. He is the top now. Feature this guy. So he's the top now. That makes you know. Let's take Shatawali as an example. He, he did something right that makes him come back. He came back before, right? Yes, yes. He came as Bandana. Bandana. And, came and he went back. back. Did his homework. Work hard. Work hard. He did not think of trying to feature anybody to get shine. He did not think of trying to even follow some artist or try to feature some artist to get the shine. He worked hard, came out, pushed it hard, and now everybody wants to feature him. So if you know your act and you believe in your act, forget about featuring. Do your act. See your act as those people will need you. See it like, yeah, I, this young crap's supposed to come and feature us. In our time, you know, they are old artists. I'm watching the days and, and Kodrin Trees, Lumbes, Pabobo, Nanato 4, Abdofo. We were not, they were not coming to feature us. Oh. We knew they had something special. So we need to work hard and get them. So when you even get them on your song, it makes you, you, you know, yeah. he's supposed to introduce you. Mm. One, it gives you blessings. You understand what I'm saying? And it opens way for you. And his fans which are the old ones who are always the old ones always bullshitting the new genre because they think they are doing crap will accept you and you learn more things from them you will see tupac or let me say no snoop dog trying to feature drake no, no. drake will go in for snoop dog yeah. you understand what i'm saying they will go in because they need to get blessings from them they need to get their skill and it's, it's an honor even to feature yeah. those top artists yeah, yeah. so for that side I, I, I sat down and I'm like, the only person doing that right way is the Shatawali guy. Mm. Yeah, because he never featured anybody. You, you don't see him going to feature some artist to, to make it. No. He worked hard. He worked hard and he came out. Because no matter what you do, you are special to someone. Yeah. Just keep pushing and those, what, that person will double up. Mm. Will tell good stuff about you. So just be different from everybody. And then people will start to feature you. You understand? So me, I don't believe in riding on some people's fame or their numbers to be known. Hell no. You won't get me like that's why I don't normally feature most of them. Before you see me featuring any of them, is because they have something unique that I know that if it comes with mine, it will make it special. I'm a rapper. I can feature a high life artist, high life young artist who can who needs that fame, not big artist but at least very underground so i can bring him up or i can let people hear about him you know what i mean that is cool for me but already established artist who is doing his own thing and i'll be like what because he get numbers so i have to feature him even though i know that he's shy but because <laughs> he, he he has followers on social media because not of his a, a talent but because maybe yeah. he's, he's added some attitude he's gotten naked on on plat on social media yeah. for people to talk about him so he's got numbers or it's because maybe he insulted somebody or it's because yeah. he's the most ugliest artist so i have to feature him no yeah. you don't do that me i believe in my act a lot and that's what makes me unique from everybody should we expect a feature from you like you featuring other artists especially the new ones well, if it even come, it will have to be a special one. If it will come, it has to be a special one. But right now, I'm thinking about how to build Exdo brand as Exdo brand. How to build Exdo brand again so that I can have my normal Exdo fans that will follow me. It wouldn't be like I want to tap in this artist's fans. That's where they disrespect you. That's where when you're trying to follow them, they think that now you are not you are nobody. So why would they spend their and uh, waste their time to come and feature you? Is it they see you like you want to jump on them to make your name? So to me, 
even with that ego i won't even get close to even feature any of them right now i have a couple of ones that i would like to feature for sure but it has to be a collaboration a collaboration that will benefit both of us not that the one that will benefit me alone him alone no 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 so who are these artists you want to well surely i love this guy because i find him unique um he's got style he's got punch like he's not he's not fake mm -hmm. and he's a singer a fine singer he's kevin boy kevin boy yeah okay kevin boy mm -hmm. for him i would like to do something special with him okay. you know what i mean i don't like traffic i don't like an artist which everybody's featuring mm. so him i find him a bit special now that i would like to have a song with him because of his style of singing he's a fine artist he sings well he sings real he, he brings out real content he's not fake do, do you, can you can you sing any of his songs that uh that one that coffee one is it is it the coffee one or he has the song that he, he sings uh, black coffee or something was he the only one? Uh, was he the only one on the song yeah, because I'm now getting to hear most of his single songs. But when he was working with Stoneboy, I, that is why I started picturing the, the talent he's got. I'm not looking at the songs he's brought out. Because if I feature him, I will tell him what to do. I will, I will use him, I will tell him, do, do this for me. Because I know him. You know, I know if I play show, he can hang out with me on the stage. I don't want to feature an artist where I'll be playing a concert and getting him on stage it will be a problem. He'll be going off and stuff you know he, he's got that uh, talent he knows how to stand on a stage to you know perform have you tried reaching out to him when the time comes i'll i'll, I'll go to get him so my, apart from my management will definitely talk to him so apart from kelvin but which other artists oh and right now none of them right now for me i have to feature a singer okay. if i have to feature a rapper it must be sarko the finish yeah, apart from Sarkodie, all of them, I see them to be talking trash. Do you think uh, Sarkodie, uh, the Manifest, and others are holding the genre you have come out with? Are they holding it very tight as, yeah, as you yeah, expect? Yeah, of, obviously, they are holding it because obviously when times goes on, innovations come, things change. But you don't forget who you are. Yeah. You understand? When I, was, I, when I was born, I saw my big brothers having this high heel, you know, haircut, back bush haircut, you know what I mean? But... That's what's, what was revolving. The world was very, it got to a point everybody had to put on sweat. Mm -hmm. It was revolving. But it doesn't make them different. They still held on to their uh, identity as Ghanaians. You understand what I'm saying? So they are holding it. Sakodia is holding it. Because he puts, he makes sure he's original on any other genre. Okay. Because Sakodia is a rap artist. Mm -hmm. And rap music is a whole genre on itself. You can identify rap with all the genres. Yeah. That is a senior genre on it. Yes, yeah. When you bring a hip hop song, I'll rap on it. Yeah. High life song, I'll rap on it. Yeah. R and B, I'll rap on it. Afro, I will rap, rap on it. it. Reggae, I will rap on it. Mm. And he has shown that. He has shown that in songs. all that. So I respect him a lot. Mm. You know what I mean? He cut across. Even if he comes with a zonto beat or techno beat, he will still rap on it. Mm. That makes him a real rapper. And him, I see him more like a rapper. He doesn't joke with his words. He don't say, he don't just make words like brown, now, and those common, those common lines. Those lines, we call it, we, we call it uh, 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 rhymes, like back in the days, you know, Peter Pepper, 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 Pepper. You are rhyming. So even if he's not going with a sentence, he's forcing to rhyme. Sarko, they don't do that. He makes sure he rhymes when it's supposed to rhyme you see when it comes to rap we have rhymes which is part of it we have delivery which is another part of it then the lyrical content we have that part and then the metaphor you understand and then timing is the most important but people don't know because if you don't have the timing you cannot sync on beats timing in a way we rappers call it timing but singers call it keys okay it's the same thing. The keys that, you, when the song comes, the keys, you, the key you need to take, some people don't have it. And, and I see it in Sarkodie. And Sarkodie has been able to hold it. Hold it for longer Are years. Proud of very proud. Very proud. As, as a rapper in Ghana, he's, 
He's held on. He's very held on to that journal for long. And he's proven to everybody that he's a rapper. And different countries are recognizing him as such. You don't see him singing sometimes. You don't see him doing patwa sometimes. You don't see him doing jama sometimes, like any some of these artists we've got. Today you see him doing dance or tomorrow you see him doing rap. Tomorrow you see him. So you can't even identify him. He's just flowing. 